Avionics are the electronic systems used on aircraft, artificial satellites, and spacecraft. Avionic systems include communications, navigation, the display and management of multiple systems, and the hundreds of systems that are fitted to aircraft to perform individual functions. These can be as simple as a searchlight for a police helicopter or as complicated as the tactical system for an airborne early warning platform. The term avionics is a portmanteau of the words aviation and electronics. Topic: History. The term avionics was coined by the journalist Philip J. Class as a portmanteau of aviation electronics. Many modern avionics have their origins in World War II wartime developments. For example, autopilot systems that are commonplace today began as specialized systems to help bomber planes fly steadily enough to hit precision targets from high altitudes. Famously, radar was developed in the UK, and then given to the US through the TISAD mission Modern Avionics is a substantial portion of military aircraft spending. Aircraft like the F-15E and the now-retired F-14 have roughly 20% of the budget spent on avionics. Most modern helicopters now have budget splits of 60 40ths in favor of avionics. The civilian market has also seen a growth in cost of avionics. Flight control systems fly -by -wire and new navigation needs brought on by tighter airspaces, have pushed up development costs. The major change has been the recent boom in consumer flying. As more people begin to use planes as their primary method of transportation, more elaborate methods of controlling aircraft safely in these high restrictive airspaces have been invented. <laughs> Modern avionics Avionics plays a heavy role in modernization initiatives like the Federal Aviation Administration's FAA Next Generation Air Transportation System Project in the United States and the Single European Sky ATM Research initiative in Europe. The Joint Planning and Development Office put forth a roadmap for avionics in six areas. Published routes and procedures, improved navigation and routing, Negotiated trajectories, adding data communications to create preferred routes dynamically. Delegated separation, enhanced situational awareness in the air and on the ground. Low visibility, ceiling approach, departure, allowing operations with weather constraints with less ground infrastructure. Surface operations, to increase safety in approach and departure. ATM efficiencies, improving the ATM process. Topic. Market The Aircraft Electronics Association reports $1.73 billion avionics sales for the first three quarters of 2017 in business and general aviation, a 4.1% yearly improvement, 73.5% came from North America, forward fit represented 42.3% while 57.7% were retrofits as the U.S. deadline of January 1, 2020 for mandatory ads be out approach. Topic. Aircraft avionics The cockpit of an aircraft is a typical location for avionic equipment, including control, monitoring, communication, navigation, weather, and anti-collision systems. The majority of aircraft power their avionics using 14 or 28 volt DC electrical systems, however, larger, more sophisticated aircraft such as airliners or military combat aircraft have AC systems operating at 400 Hz, 115 volts AC. 
There are several major vendors of flight avionics, including Panasonic Avionics Corporation, Honeywell, which now owns Bendix, King, Universal Avionics Systems Corporation, Rockwell Collins, now Collins Aerospace, Thales Group, GE Aviation Systems, Garmin, Raytheon, Parker Hannifin, UTC Aerospace Systems, now Collins Aerospace, Celex S, now Leonardo SP, A, and Avidyne Corporation. International standards for avionics equipment are prepared by the Airlines Electronic Engineering Committee AEC and published by ARINC. Topic: Communications. Communications connect the flight deck to the ground and the flight deck to the passengers. Onboard communications are provided by public address systems and aircraft intercoms. The VHF aviation communication system works on the airband of 118.000 MHz to 136.975 MHz. Each channel is spaced from the adjacent ones by 8.33 kHz in Europe, 25 kHz elsewhere. VHF is also used for line-of-sight communication such as aircraft to aircraft and aircraft to ATC. Amplitude modulation AM is used, and the conversation is performed in simplex mode. Aircraft communication can also take place using HF especially for trans-oceanic flights or satellite communication. Navigation Air navigation is the determination of position and direction on or above the surface of the Earth. Avionics can use satellite navigation systems such as GPS and WAS, INS inertial navigation system, ground-based radio navigation systems such as VOR or LORAN, or any combination thereof. Navigation systems calculate the position automatically and display it to the flight crew on moving map displays. Older avionics required a pilot or navigator to plot the intersection of signals on a paper map to determine an aircraft's location. Modern systems calculate the position automatically and display it to the flight crew on moving map displays. Topic Monitoring The first hints of glass cockpits emerged in the 1970s when flight-worthy cathode ray tube CRT screens began to replace electromechanical displays, gauges and instruments. A glass cockpit refers to the use of computer monitors instead of gauges and other analog displays. Aircraft were getting progressively more displays, dials and information dashboards that eventually competed for space and pilot attention. In the 1970s, the average aircraft had more than 100 cockpit instruments and controls. Glass cockpits started to come into being with the Gulfstream GIV private jet in 1985. One of the key challenges in glass cockpits is to balance how much control is automated and how much the pilot should do manually. Generally they try to automate flight operations while keeping the pilot constantly informed. <laughs> <laughs> Aircraft flight control system Aircraft have means of automatically controlling flight. Autopilot was first invented by Lawrence Sperry during World War I to fly bomber planes steady enough to hit accurate targets from 25,000 feet. When it was first adopted by the U.S. military, a Honeywell engineer sat in the back seat with bolt cutters to disconnect the autopilot in case of emergency. Nowadays most commercial planes are equipped with aircraft flight control systems in order to reduce pilot error and workload at landing or takeoff. The first simple commercial autopilots were used to control heading and altitude and had limited authority on things like thrust and flight control surfaces. In helicopters, auto stabilization was used in a similar way. The first systems were electromechanical. 
The advent of fly-by-wire and electro-actuated flight surfaces rather than the traditional hydraulic has increased safety. As with displays and instruments, critical devices that were electro-mechanical had a finite life. With safety critical systems, the software is very strictly tested. Topic fuel systems Fuel Quantity Indication System FQIS monitors the amount of fuel aboard. Using various sensors, such as capacitance tubes, temperature sensors, densitometers and level sensors, the FQIS computer calculates the mass of fuel remaining on board. Fuel Control and Monitoring System FCMS reports fuel remaining on board in a similar manner, but, by controlling pumps and valves, also manages fuel transfers around various tanks. Refueling control to upload to a certain total mass of fuel and distribute it automatically. Transfers during flight to the tanks that feed the engines. E.g. from fuselage to wing tanks center of gravity control transfers from the tail trim tanks forward to the wings as fuel is expended maintaining fuel in the wing tips to help stop the wings bending due to lift in flight and transferring to the main tanks after landing controlling fuel jettison during an emergency to reduce the aircraft weight. Collision avoidance systems To supplement air traffic control, most large transport aircraft and many smaller ones use a Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System TCAS, which can detect the location of nearby aircraft, and provide instructions for avoiding a mid-air collision. Smaller aircraft may use simpler traffic alerting systems such as TPAS, which are passive, they do not actively interrogate the transponders of other aircraft and do not provide advisories for conflict resolution. To help avoid controlled flight into terrain CFIT, aircraft use systems such as Ground Proximity Warning Systems GPWS, which use radar altimeters as a key element. One of the major weaknesses of GPWS is the lack of look ahead information, because it only provides altitude above terrain. Look down. In order to overcome this weakness, modern aircraft use a terrain awareness warning system, TORS. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Flight recorders. Commercial aircraft cockpit data recorders, commonly known as black boxes, store flight information and audio from the cockpit. They are often recovered from an aircraft after a crash to determine control settings and other parameters during the incident. <laughs> <laughs> Weather systems Weather systems such as weather radar, typically ARINC 708 on commercial aircraft, and lightning detectors are important for aircraft flying at night or in instrument meteorological conditions, where it is not possible for pilots to see the weather ahead. Heavy precipitation as sensed by radar or severe turbulence as sensed by lightning activity are both indications of strong convective activity and severe turbulence, and weather systems allow pilots to deviate around these areas. Lightning detectors like the Stormscope or Strikefinder have become inexpensive enough that they are practical for light aircraft. In addition to radar and lightning detection, observations and extended radar pictures such as NEXRAD are now available through satellite data connections, allowing pilots to see weather conditions far beyond the range of their own in-flight systems. Modern displays allow weather information to be integrated with moving maps, terrain, and traffic onto a single screen, greatly simplifying navigation. Modern weather systems also include wind shear and turbulence detection and terrain and traffic warning systems. In plain weather avionics are especially popular in Africa, India, and other countries where air travel is a growing market, but ground support is not as well developed. <laughs> <laughs> Aircraft management systems 
There has been a progression towards centralized control of the multiple complex systems fitted to aircraft, including engine monitoring and management. Health and usage monitoring systems HUMs, are integrated with aircraft management computers to give maintainers early warnings of parts that will need replacement. The integrated modular avionics concept proposes an integrated architecture with application software portable across an assembly of common hardware modules. It has been used in fourth generation jet fighters and the latest generation of airliners. Topic: <laughs> Mission or tactical avionics. Military aircraft have been designed either to deliver a weapon or to be the eyes and ears of other weapon systems. The vast array of sensors available to the military is used for whatever tactical means required. As with aircraft management, the bigger sensor platforms like the E3D, JSTARS, ASTA, Nimrod MRA4, Merlin HUM MK1 have mission management computers. Police and EMS aircraft also carry sophisticated tactical sensors. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Military communications. While aircraft communications provide the backbone for safe flight, the tactical systems are designed to withstand the rigors of the battlefield. UHF, VHF tactical 30 -88 and SATCOM systems combined with ECCM methods, and cryptography secure the communications. Data links such as Link 11, 16, 22 and Bowman, JTRS and even Tetra provide the means of transmitting data such as images, targeting information etc. Radar Airborne radar was one of the first tactical sensors. The benefit of altitude providing range has meant a significant focus on airborne radar technologies. Radars include airborne early warning AEW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, and even weather radar ARINC 708 and ground tracking proximity radar. The military uses radar in fast jets to help pilots fly at low levels. While the civil market has had weather radar for a while, there are strict rules about using it to navigate the aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> Sonar Dipping sonar fitted to a range of military helicopters allows the helicopter to protect shipping assets from submarines or surface threats. Maritime support aircraft can drop active and passive sonar devices sonoboys, and these are also used to determine the location of enemy submarines. Electro-optics <inaudible> 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 Electro-optic systems include devices such as the head-up display HUD, forward-looking infrared FLIR, infrared search and track and other passive infrared devices passive infrared sensor. These are all used to provide imagery and information to the flight crew. This imagery is used for everything from search and rescue to navigational aids and target acquisition. Topic. ESM, DAS Electronic support measures and defensive aids are used extensively to gather information about threats or possible threats. They can be used to launch devices, in some cases automatically, to counter direct threats against the aircraft. They are also used to determine the state of a threat and identify it. Topic. Aircraft networks The avionics systems in military, commercial and advanced models of civilian aircraft are interconnected using an avionics databus. Common avionics databus protocols, with their primary application, include 
Aircraft Data Network ADN, Ethernet derivative for commercial aircraft Avionics Full Duplex Switched Ethernet AFDX, specific implementation of ARINC 664 ADN for commercial aircraft ARINC 429, generic medium speed data sharing for private and commercial aircraft ARINC 664, CADN above ARINC 629, commercial aircraft Boeing 777 ARINC 708, weather radar for commercial aircraft ARINC 717, flight data recorder for commercial aircraft ARINC 825, CAN bus for commercial aircraft for example Boeing 787 and Airbus A350 Commercial Standard Digital Bus IEEE 1394B, Military Aircraft MIL STD-1553, Military Aircraft MIL STD-1760, Military Aircraft TTP, Time Triggered Protocol, Boeing 787 Dreamliner, Airbus A380, Fly-by-Wire Actuation Platforms from Parker Aerospace Ethernet, time triggered Ethernet, NASA Orion spacecraft. Topic See also ACARS Acronyms and abbreviations in avionics ARINC Avionics Software Emergency Locator Beacon Emergency position indicating radio beacon station Flight recorder Integrated modular avionics DO-178C Notes Further reading Avionics, Development and Implementation by Kerry R. Spitzer Hardcover, December 15, 2006 Principles of Avionics, 4th edition by Albert Helfrich, Len Buckwalter, and Avionics Communications Inc. Paperback, July 1, 2007 Avionics Training, Systems, Installation, and Troubleshooting by Len Buckwalter Paperback, June 30, 2005 Avionics Made Simple, by Muhammad Abdullah, Ph.D., Yaroslav V. Svoboda, Ph.D. and Luis Rodriguez, Ph.D. Courseback, December 2005 ISBN 978-0-88947-908-1 External links Avionics in Commercial Aircraft Aircraft Electronics Association AEA, Pilot's Guide to Avionics The Avionics Systems Standardization Committee Space Shuttle Avionics Aviation Today Avionics Magazine Ray's Avionics Homepage <laughs>